Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to diagnose a bad clutch. I'll be going over six specific things that you should look for that are indicators that your clutch is bad or needs to be looked at. So when you see these things, whether it's individually or some of them together, then it's a good indication that you should either replace your clutch or get it looked at because maybe it needs to be serviced or adjusted. Let's get right into those six things. Number one is a slipping clutch. Now I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. I've actually experienced a slipping clutch firsthand when my clutch needed to be replaced. This is what I saw and this is what a slipping clutch sort of feels like and sounds like. You're gonna put it in gear and you're gonna rev low. So let's say like, you know, you're in third gear and you're revving at like 2,500 RPM, something like that. You wanna rev fairly low so there's a lot of room for the tachometer to move up. And then when you're revving low in gear, you're just gonna floor the gas pedal. And if your clutch is slipping, your tachometer is gonna shoot up, it's gonna skyrocket up, but your, your, your speedometer is not gonna increase that much. So if you floor it at low RPMs, you're gonna hear your engine go your, you know, your tachometer is gonna go up, but you're, you're not really gonna increase in speed. You're not gonna feel that acceleration that you should feel. If that happens, that's generally speaking a slipping clutch. And that means you, you almost certainly need a new clutch. The second indicator is a spongy feeling when pressing the clutch. So if you, you, you know, if you're pressing your clutch and it feels very spongy, it feels very soft, that is a good indicator that your clutch either needs to be replaced, serviced, or looked at, okay? Your clutch is bad in that moment at least. Now. When you press your clutch uh, down and you release it, when you press it down and release it, it should have a pretty clear pathway and it should have a very tactile feeling. It should be, it should feel very tactile to you. You should be able to feel that pressing of it. If it feels very spongy, if it doesn't feel concrete, if it feels very spongy, then that's a good, good, good indicator that you need a new clutch or it needs to be looked at or serviced. Okay. Not all of these mean that you need a new clutch, but you're, something's wrong with your clutch. That's for sure when you see these indicators, right? So it's your clutch is bad. Whether you need to replace it or service it or, or adjust it is a different story. Okay, um, number three is difficulty shifting gears. If you're driving your car and you know you 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 have experience driving a manual car, so you're you don't usually grind gears, but all of a sudden you start grinding all of the gears that you're shifting. That's a good indicator that something's wrong with your clutch because your clutch should be allowing you to shift through the gears without grinding. And if you're grinding those gears as you're shifting, well then guess what? There's a problem with your clutch, right? Um, also. In addition to grinding, if that biting point of the clutch is not engaging when you're shifting gears, another indication that your clutch is bad. And I'll get more to the biting point later in this video, okay? I'll speak more about the biting point with one of the further points. Number four, the fourth indicator is a noticeable squealing sound. So if you hear a squealing sound from your clutch uh, every time you press it, most of the time when you press it, that is a good indicator that something is wrong, okay? Some, some part of the clutch or the clutch system needs to be replaced or looked at. Now, there's a difference between a little squeaking sound and a noticeable squealing sound. If you hear a little squeaking sound, it could just be that, you know, it needs to be lubricated, right? It could just be that the components are, are a little bit old and need to, be, uh, need to be looked at or greased up, right? But if you notice a squealing sound, right? There's a difference between a when you're pressing your clutch down uh, and releasing it versus like a squealing, the really uh, massive squealing sound. You'll notice this squealing sound. If you hear it, I would suggest that you get your clutch looked at ASAP if you hear a noticeable squealing sound. The fifth indicator is the vibration feeling in the pedal. Now, it is normal, I'm gonna make this very clear, it is normal to feel a little bit of vibration in the clutch pedal, especially with certain cars and especially with older vehicles, okay? And certain makes and models. They're known for vibration feelings in the pedal, uh, in the clutch pedal. But if you notice a, uh, a more than usual vibration feeling, that is a good indicator that you gotta get it looked at. Get your clutch looked at. I don't know if you'll need an entirely new clutch, but something needs to be adjusted or replaced, a part of it at least, okay? Last but not least, this is usually the most noticeable thing um, when you've owned a car for a while because you know what it feels like and then it changes, right? And number six is the biting point of the clutch is really high up. Now, when you first get a brand new car, you'll notice the biting point of that clutch is gonna be like at the ground. The moment that you just slightly release the clutch, you're gonna feel the car, if it's in gear, you're gonna feel the car start to move, right? Now. 
as the clutch gets some wear and tear, what's going to happen is that biting point is going to get higher up and higher up and higher up. So the biting point, instead of being at the ground, is going to get higher and higher. And that's a good indicator to you that there's some wear and tear on the clutch. So what you want to do is you want to test that biting point right now. And if you think that there's a problem with your clutch, figure out where the biting point is, okay? So put your car in gear with the clutch pedal down and then release the brake pedal on a flat surface and then just slightly release the clutch until you feel the car start to move forward. When you feel that car start to move forward, then that's gonna be that biting point of the clutch. That's gonna be where the biting point is. And if you notice that the biting point of the clutch is really high, uh, then that's gonna be a good indicator that your clutch is experiencing wear and tear and eventually you're gonna have to replace it. And that's it. In this video, I've told you how to diagnose a bad clutch. I've gone over six things to look for. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching